right, what's up YouTube, 702 guy here. So I've been getting some questions on how to put your sounds that you've downloaded in onto FL Studio. So basically, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you that. Um, it's really easy. So I'm going to show you first. Basically, I've, this, these are my sounds right now that I've got. Okay, these are all the sounds. I just now downloaded a new pack to show you guys this. Um, it's called 332 Progressive House, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't have that pack anywhere in, in here as you can see in my clipboard files there's no 332 or nothing so um oops so I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to insert it so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your computer file or you're going to go to your um, my computer um, and you're going to get your hard drive you're going to go to program files 86 this is if you have Windows 7 by the way I don't really know what to do with if you have Mac um, it's probably the same thing just whatever Mac calls it um, you're gonna go to image line FL studio 10 data patches and I use, I put mine in my clipboard files because there, it's that's a blank place and it's easy to keep all of them organized all you do is you just drag oops, drag and drop the folder into your clipboard files it'll do this thing that's showing that it's copying over okay and then all you do is you just oh actually I need, I need a refreshment browser but now it's there so I've got all these different sounds I just downloaded so that's how you do it I'd recommend like I said put it in your clipboard files because FL Studio doesn't come with clipboard files so it's easy just to put all your stuff there um so yeah that's it don't forget to rate comment subscribe thanks for watching